Footage you're about to watch takes place in the early days of the Syrian civil war. Now stick around after the footage for a bit of context. <laughs> Not too long ago, we released footage of a cannon being used by the Free Syrian Army as part of the Syrian Civil War. We wanted to take things even further back into history with the use of a catapult, specifically in this instance, a counterweight trebuchet. The counterweight trebuchet is an absolute dump truck of a siege weapon evolved from the older traction trebuchet, which is believed to have origins in China. Prior to gunpowder, siege armies found a need for heavy weaponry as a force multiplier. And what arose from that was a host of siege engines, including battering rams, ballista, and early catapults, including the traction and counterweight trebuchets. By the late 6th century, the traction trebuchet was carried westward by the Avars and would theoretically have informed the eventual design of the counterweight trebuchet, which is what we see here. The propensity to field antiquated weapon systems in modern conflict is something that really interests me here related to the Syria conflict and war. As technological mitigation to modern weaponry advances and economy breaks down due to war, it's interesting to watch the reversion to rudimentary arms. Everyone knows the saying from Albert Einstein, I know not with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. I think this type of footage directly supports that. What are your thoughts on the use of the trebuchet, the cannon, and even the slingshots that we showed you in modern conflict? Let us know in the comments. Let's take a second before I jet out of here and talk about our episode sponsor, Jake's Mint Chew. When I was trying to quit smoking and dipping, and this is something that I'd been doing since I was a teenager, the only options I had at hand included stuff like patches and pills and other medications that I just didn't want to put into my body. Now, during my second deployment to Afghanistan, a team member of mine was kind enough to offer a can of Jake's Mint Chew, and I was able to use that with a few extra cans to supplement my chewing habit over the course of a couple months so that I could eventually quit, and I did. Jake's Mint Chew is a tobacco-free and nicotine-free alternative to chewing that's got plenty of flavors and comes in pouches and long cut. I personally like the long cut wintergreen, and I still use it when I'm on the range or in the motor pool. For those that are interested, they also offer a variety of CBD gummies and even CBD chew without the THC, and Jake's is made in the USA. It's a great product to help you bring in your New Year's resolution to quit chewing with, and you guys can use the code HEROES for 15% off your order as a thank you to our veterans, military, and public service community members. Focus this New Year's resolution on you, kick that habit, and you can do that with Jake's. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to swing by my channel where we spend time discussing all these videos and more. And you can find a link for that down below. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, and stay informed.
الشام تقوم بدفع أقل الشبيحة على حاجة السيدي مقدار بقناة بنويتو محلية الصرام I'm sorry. <laughs> I I just I can't help myself with the music. <laughs>